one thing that uh, uh, I remember in particular was uh, the building of the addition to the capital, the, the uh, uh, replacing what was then just a, a dense parking lot with uh, an architecturally praised addition that was consistent with the original uh, design of the Capitol. That came to me the very first day I was in office. I walked back to Bob Wilburn's office, who was then the budget secretary, and looked out the window. And all I could say was a bunch of cars out there parked. Now, of course, they're all underground. And they're topped by uh, a very handsome building. Uh, we, uh, of course, lived uh, in the governor's uh, residence for eight years. It had been vacant uh, from 1971 on since the Hurricane Agnes flood. And my predecessor, Governor Schapp, had, had uh, moved away from Harrisburg. But we took great pride in, in fixing that facility up and uh, uh, fixing the, the, the grounds that we had volunteer committees headed by Pennsylvanians who were prominent in the arts and in landscape architecture and the like, chipped in to do that. My wife always used to tell me that one of her Girl Scout mottos was, uh, always leave your campsite in better shape than you found it, and I think we could qualify in that. And, and the opportunities to entertain in that facility were magnificent. We had uh, gatherings of uh, major uh, figures in the arts and letters and established the governor's award for excellence in the arts. Um, the other thing that uh, I think we were just completely bowled over by was uh, the, the artwork and the design, the architecture of the Capitol building itself, especially the Violet Oakley murals, which uh, chronicle much of Pennsylvania's history and honor a a distinguished Pennsylvania tradition. She, she really was uh, often overlooked in contributions that people have made to our great state.